So, as promised, I told you guys Robin will be able to show us how to demat the giant ball of fur on the back of her head. So, to start, she's just using her regular shears. You can use a straight or curve, it doesn't matter. You can use one of the shears that you use for, you know, bathing. Just trim the mat down. Just trim it down short enough to where you can get that little room to help you start brushing it. Now, this can be dangerous. It is not something I recommend for a new groomer. Um, if you want to attempt to do that, definitely go ahead and ask your instructor. Your instructor, but um, you know, just handling it by yourself can be dangerous because the mats are severely severely tight and uh, for you to go ahead and do that without supervision is asking for trouble but anyways as you can see she's just um, taking the shear and slicing it apart and then just trimming it over just to make sure that she's able to get through to the mat So um, I had to give her a break because uh, the mats were really tight and uh, my knees were hurting on the floor. But anyway, so as you could see, she's still trimming the mats. Uh, you know, they're pretty tight, so she wants to make sure she gets in there. It's not going to be a giant top knot, but it's going to be nice and neat. Um, she has a big um, heart when it comes to, uh, well, I wouldn't say heart. She she. She hates it when um, the dog is shaved completely bald. So she always want to leave a little bit of hair on the top and a little bit of hair on the tail. So this is what she's trying to achieve right now by giving the dog a little bit to go on. So I wanted to give you guys a closer look at the uh, matting behind her head uh, before she start to, you know, detangle it. Um, pretty much what she's going to do is uh, use her detangler spray, her brush, her comb, and here and there using her scissors. So if you could see, she's not brushing the dog hard and the dog is not fighting at all. All the poor guy is doing is standing there and just letting her do it. Now for you to do this, you need your detangler spray. Typically I recommend men and tail. I use it for my hair because I have really, really thick hair. You can get that at your local Walmart or um, pet store. They have it everywhere. I love that product, but you don't have to use Men and Tail. You can find another good detangler brand out there as well. So um, let's just watch it work. So here is the back of her head after all the cutting and brushing and combing. So giving her a top knot includes making sure that she has at least a little bit of hair left on her ears as well as you know her head, her tail. Um, her ears were matted so um, to save them she almost gave her a semi cocker ear but um, it's pretty short she leaves a little bit at the tip she leaves a little bit of hair at the tip of the ear just to kind of give her that look that she has hair on the ear right, so look back here remember how bad it was it was like one giant ear so this is what she did pretty much she trimmed down the the mats all the way down and then she used her scissors to split them and then she just used some detanglers and brush them out. Yeah. And this is her head. Yeah. Now she doesn't have to look bald. She won't have to look bald. She did her little ears like that because they were matted, but she was able to demat this one and that one so she can actually have a good looking face. She's so pretty. So here is Zena. She's feeling so much better. Say hi, pretty girl. 
So remember her head was extremely matted. So this is what the groomer did. She pretty much dematted the back of the head, trim it down, dematted her, shave her ears to the tip here because they were matted. But I think she came out looking really pretty. Right, Zena? And she's got, you know, a palm tail. Gina, hi girlfriend. And we have a tiny little poodle. She's staying fluffy. Say bye. Guys, please like and subscribe. Thank you.